Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It says, what's the total area of these three squares? And we're given that this is a semicircle with a diameter of five. If you want to try it on your own, pause it right now because I'm going to solve it in three, two, one. For the first step, I'm going to give the pink square a side of X. And let's give the purple square a side length of Y. And then from here, we can see that the blue square has a side length of x plus y. And now we're ready to do our first equation with this 5. This purple portion is y, and this blue portion is x plus y. So we know that y plus x plus y is going to be equal to 5. And we can simplify that into x plus 2y is equal to 5. And now we have our first equation. Next, let's draw this triangle inside here. And this is a right triangle. Anytime you have an inscribed angle that stands on the diameter, it's always a right angle. All of these are right angles. And next, I want to drop down the perpendicular line right here so we have another right angle. So now we've made another right triangle. What's cool about this is we've created three similar right triangles. Let me show you why. Let's label this angle A. Well, that's going to be the same thing as this angle here on both of these two triangles. And let's call this angle right here Z, and that's the same angle as these two on these two triangles. Now looking at this bottom triangle, we know that A plus Z is equal to 9. So that means that if this is A, this angle up here must be Z, and if this is Z, this angle right here must be A. So since all these angles are the same, these are three similar right triangles. That means if we were to align two of them up like this, we could set up a proportion where the smaller side divided by the middle side of one triangle is equal to the small side divided by the middle side of the other triangle. And this is going to enable us to get our other equation. So the height of both of these is this piece right here, and that's equal to y. And then the base of this triangle is this piece right here. It's going to be equal to y minus x. And that's because it's the whole length y minus this piece x. And then this bottom is going to be equal to 2x plus y. And that's because it's equal to this x plus y plus this additional x right here. So now we're ready to fill out our proportion. The smaller side is y minus x and the middle side is y. And for this one, the smaller side is y and the middle side is 2x plus y. And now to solve this proportion, we're going to cross multiply. So we'll do y times y, which gives us y squared. And on the right-hand side, we're going to have to FOIL or distribute. We'll have to do y times 2x, which is 2xy, plus y times y, which is y squared, minus x times 2x, which is negative 2x squared, minus x times y, which is negative xy. From here, we can subtract y squared from both sides. And on the right-hand side, we can combine like terms. So let's bring this negative xy right here. On the left-hand side, y squared minus y squared is 0. And on the right-hand side, 2xy minus xy is xy. y squared minus y squared is nothing. And then we can bring down the negative 2x squared. From here, we can factor out the common x. x times what gives us xy? Well, that's going to be y. And then x times what gives us negative 2x squared? Well, that's negative 2x. And then from here, the only way this can be true is if either one of these is equal to 0. First, we know x can't equal 0, so this one's gone. And then for this one, if we add 2x to both sides, we get y is equal to 2x. And so we just did all of this work to find out that y is equal to 2x. So now we have our two equations. Let's copy this one down, and then the place of y, let's plug in 2x. 2 times 2x is equal to 4x, and x plus 4x is equal to 5x. After we divide both sides by 5, we get x is equal to 1, and let's put a box around that. And now for y equals 2x, let's plug in 1 for x. And 2 times 1 is just 2, so we know that y is equal to 2. And now we're ready to find the total area of these three squares. The sides of these squares are x, y, and x plus y, where the x's are equal to 1 and the y's are equal to 2. Our side lengths are 1, 2, and 3. So the areas are going to be 1, 4, and 9. And 1 plus 4 plus 9 is equal to 14. So the answer to this question, what is the total area of these three squares, is 14 square units. Let's put a box around it. How exciting. And if you guys want to try more of these geometry challenge problems, I have this page on andymath.com. The link is in the description. Let me know what you think.